All right, y'all. Thanks for joining in. My name is Rachel Petrie. I'm an interior designer based here in Nashville. And today we are rating renter friendly wall covering options. I have had so much curiosity around wall coverings and what's going to perform well in my space. I have some new props over here that I'm testing out and I want a uh, like color just popping from the space. I need it. It's time for a mix up. I love the calming minimalistic look of my apartment, but I also really want more color in the space. I'm ready to bring in some whimsical charm, if you will. So that's what led me to a renter friendly wall covering options. And I started looking around online and the three I arrived at that I'm rating today are Spoonflower, Smart Tiles, and Tim Paper. And they're all renter friendly options and I'll walk you through how I decided. So first and foremost, let's start with Smart Tiles, which I am using in my kitchen backsplash as a test. And um, this is truly a test because I found when the um, Smart Tiles arrived that I tried to pick patterns I really enjoyed, but I didn't love the way the patterns looked when they arrived. They definitely um, looked like they had been printed. And even though they were manufactured like gorgeously, um, I was, yeah, I was not like thrilled with the actual motif so like in the category of like aesthetics when i opened it in the mail i'm gonna give it a six out of ten um really cool product but just didn't love the look and then i ran the experiment of durability so i put the smart tile on the wall i left it there for a couple of weeks and i wanted to see how it performed and then after a couple of weeks i slowly removed it from my kitchen backsplash so it's like a counter type of material that's on my kitchen backsplash already and it removed really nicely there was no residue left and i was pretty blown away with the performance so for the performance um this smart tile didn't budge at all it stayed right in place i'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. okay so let's leave it there but if you add those together we've got an 8 out of 10 for smart tiles when we're considering both the look and feel the aesthetic as well as the durability we need to be functional as well so that's smart tiles. The next two are more closely related because they fall in the wallpaper category. I am looking for the perfect moody wallpaper for my kitchen. And so I turned to Spoonflower. If you Google renter friendly wallpapers online, of course you're gonna see Spoonflower. Make sure you select the renter friendly options. I chose the peel and stick renter friendly option. And it is so great if you're intimidated by any sort of wallpaper. So I ordered it and I went for this like dark brown and black plaid. And once again, very similar to how I felt about Smart Tiles, once it arrived, the look and feel, it just looked like a renter friendly solution. It wasn't a nice wallpaper. Um, I felt like it could have been a nice wallpaper with just like an adhesive background on it, but no, 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 this, is, this wasn't a, um, you know, nice looking wallpaper. It was a really nice pattern, really cool pattern. But um, anyways, I decided to roll with it. Like maybe it would look beautiful once it was on the walls. So I put it up on the wall. It went on my textured wall in particular that I have in my kitchen really nicely because in some of these older rentals, as you know, we have, um, uh you know some texture walls going on so i put it on there i waited and um, i left it there for two weeks so in the aesthetic category i'm gonna give this a five out of ten um i'm gonna try a couple other products like i'm not gonna give this like a blanket spoon flower um rating this is just for this one dark brown plaid wallpaper um five out of ten okay it wasn't great um but let me talk about the durability so once again like performance is everything when it comes to wall coverings you don't want your wall coverings your wallpapers your panes like shrinking and falling off which some of the amazon products definitely do when i read up on them so for a spoon flower um what i did is again i left that dark brown and black plaid wallpaper sample up there for a couple weeks and then i wanted to see how it performed formed. So I slowly started peeling it off and I was certain paint was going to come 
off with it. The first four inches I pulled, no paint came off. And I was totally blown away. Um, it far exceeded my expectations. I thought I was going to have to pay for it to be repainted. And um, yeah, it was definitely um, really well performing and I will give the performance a 10 out of 10. After two weeks, um, Spoonflower did um, perform extremely well and exceeded my expectations. And I will just let you know that there were, this is a textured wall and there were a couple of the little like popcorn granules where the paint put peeled off. But this was like so small in comparison to what I thought was gonna happen when the paint peeled off. Like I was certain the paint was gonna come off with it and it didn't, it performed really, really well. So um, yeah, ten, I'm gonna give a 10 out of 10 very generously to the Spoonflower wallpaper. And then that puts us around, you know, that 7.5 range um, overall for Spoonflower. T Smart Tile and um, Spoon flower are like totally different categories. Um, so keep in mind that the um, smart tile is that more of a tile finish, um, which is a really cool product. And spoon flower is gauged more towards fabrics, wallpapers, all of that kind of realm. So finally, more in the spoon flower type of category, um, we have tin paper, which is wallpaper. And I desperately want to paint my. Um, lit sunroom some sort of like very 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 light pink to the point where you don't really know even if it is pink i'm okay with it being kind of pink but just not in your face pink not as pink as these things okay so my gumdrop nails so um i ordered a sample from tim paper and i was almost certain it was going to be too pink and it was it it really looked pinker than the product description and so when it arrived again this comes down to personal preference i thought it looked fairly um inexpensive not really in a good way um the look and feel um looked like a render friendly wallpaper and the texture was odd and um meaning the pattern was odd uh, the texture was fine and it was very pinky so for this reason i'm giving the tim paper um, tin paper swatch the look and feel um, a 4 out of 10 um, definitely uh, not quite what I was expecting from the pictures and then um, with for the performance of the tin paper I would say I'm still watching it as of today when I peeled it off 10 out of 10 seemed to do pretty well um, no paint came off um, this wasn't on a textured wall this time it was on one of my um, walls back here and um, yeah it made me really excited that I have so many options that are durable on the market for my walls if I can find like one that I like the look and feel of so with Tim paper what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back after a couple weeks and like see how it performed um, and in the, in the meantime I want you to have the results of these three options and um, yeah I would say that like definitely um, the Tim paper uh, falls in that 7 out of 10 range. So if we had to rank these in order of score, we have um, in the first place, Smart Tiles. Um, in second place, we have um, Spoon Flower. And in third place, we have Tim paper. Uh, I would say it's kind of, it's kind of all a wash if I'm gonna be honest. The ratings mean something, I really do mean it, but they were all, as far as durability is concerned, they're all great products. And um, the truth of the matter is like, we can't all get luxury wallpaper. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a little bit picky there. But um, yeah, that was the experiment. I hope you learned a lot from this video. What do you think? Are there other renter friendly um, wallpaper or paint or um, tile options you've tried that I need to try as well? I'd love to hear from you. This was such a fun experiment. I love trying out renter friendly options. So let me know in the comments. If you need help selecting a wallpaper or a paint color for your home, please reach out. My name is Rachel Petrie at Rachel Petrie Interiors and I'd love to work with you. Thanks. Have a great rest of your week.